Hi guys, this is a random function tutorial developed in Bishu Basic. Let me show you guys how it works. There we go. You see right here I have labels and here are panels. All they do is the panel we just change color while the labels generate different numbers. Again here I have a button that I click on to generate the numbers based on function using incrementation so what I'm going to do now is I want to take you guys straight into visual basic development environment of Alpha visual studio 2017 and we put one of these together so let's do that now guys welcome to visual studio 2017 in this tutorial I'm going to be creating a program that will use different random function in Visual Basic. So I'm going to select Visual Basic since the dialog box is ready. Select Windows Forms Application and I'm going to give that a name. Let's call it VB underscore random. Function. And click on OK. Alright, now that my form is ready, let's go to the properties of the form and set the size to 1386 by 788. Enter. And then the next thing is come straight to the toolbox. Let's grab a label there. Right here, we have a label. I'm going to change the property size of that label to auto size. Let's make that force and border style we're gonna make that fixed 3d the choice is yours what you want to use but i'm going to make my fixed 3d and that is meant to be the size of my label the next thing i'm going to do is to get the label centered that is centered and change the font size let's change that to approximately 48 make that bold Come right down, make it 48, and get rid of the text content in there. There we go. There, the next thing is I'm just going to copy it across. We need about seven of those. One more right here, and just select it all. Now, let's add a panel. That's my panel right there. Move it up a little bit. And let's change the setting of that panel as well. I'm going to change the border style of that very panel. I'm going to change it to fixed 3D as well. There we go. And let's just copy it across. We need two more. I'll copy this very panel and bring it right down there that's ready now the next thing is let's grab a button just draw it down much too. and there that's it okay now the next thing is for us to add a timer let's come right down I will only use just one timer double click on the timer there timer is right here okay the next thing is let's enter some data for the button itself there okay so maybe change the name of this project as well let's come to the form and just change that to test random function there we go double click on the form and we declare the following variables right up there as a global variable the first one I'm going to declare, let's declare Q as integer. There. The next declaration will be for my random color changing. So that will be RB or RGB. And let's enter the yellow there and make that as single. 
or a string sorry now the next thing we want to do is see this very button let's double click on that button and let's ask the button itself to enable or maybe we should give that button a name yeah let's give it a name come back in here change the name of that button to btn btn changer yeah that's good enough for me now double click on btn changer because the name is now recognized because i've already clicked on it i'm just going to copy and change it around that's fine now come right down here and the next thing we want to do now is the timer timer one dot enable enable equals true the timer timer one is enabled to true because right here if i select the timer property you can see it is false right here that's why i'm enabling it to true okay the next thing we want to do is you see these labels let me grab the name of that very first label and we'll enter some random function there copy that and to achieve that we have to do that inside the timer itself double click on the timer that's the timer right there so let's enter label lbl low one dot text equals let's go for random to say and 100 multiply by random okay that's the very first one I'm just gonna copy it I have seven on top there and that is two three four Seven. Okay, we need another. Oh, in total, I have fourteen. So it's eight. So what will happen is when I click on the button, the button will enable the timer, and we should be able to see some random numbers generated in here. Okay. So what we have in here is integer 100 multiplied by the random function itself. So this is where the number, the random function actually decide which number will be inside the label. But the problem is when I run it, you will see it will not stop. Okay guys, check, check it out. If I click on this very button there, that is it it's not stopping nothing is happening so to make it stop what I'm going to do is inside is very timer let's use this variable here you see that so let's come down here and say Q equals Q plus one so let's increment Q now the next thing is let's use an if statement if q equals let's go for maybe 20 then we want the following to happen timer timer one dot enable equals false there and let's say timer one dot stop so let's give that a try and see what's going to happen and we click on run and try that there we go after about 20 counts that stops okay try it again well the thing is this time around the count continues because our Q has not changed value so to make that happen what I need to do is to change the Q back to zero so let me show you guys what I'm talking about I'm gonna get a label let's get a label somewhere here 
that's the label let's gonna paste the label here so that you see the count let's put the label here where you can see it and increase the font size just to prove a point there so you'll be able to see it there so that is called label one so let's go straight inside the timer right here label label one dot text equals q right when i click on it this is what's going to happen there it stops and when i click on it again it will continue counting okay it's now stopping all right so because it's not stopping we need to find a way to stop it so to do that instead of that label I'm going to convert this Q equals zero all right undo that Q equals zero let's see what's gonna happen let's come come in here if we say Q equals zero Q equals zero. Let's see what's going to happen here. That label one should default back to zero. So let's keep that short and see. There we go. Now it's working. So if I click on it again, there. See that? So that's what I want. That's how I want the system to to work for me. Now I'm going to delete the label. I'll just use the label to show you what I'm talking about. All right, so that is that done. The next thing we want to do now is to add some color changing effects to all of this component because the whole idea is about using a random function to generate numbers and change colors. So let's come right down in here. Double click on the timer itself and right here right up here or maybe below yeah up there let's do that up there I can always say R equals int random multiply that by 255 let's just copy that then A or let's say G equals that equals there and B Y there so those are my variables now have the random function that will generate a color in there so the next thing I'm gonna do is each of all of these each of those labels I mean I want to copy this one copy this let's copy this then I can add the numbers and that will become one dot let's say four color equals color dot from from a RGB and what would that be? That would be this, this different color settings that I have in it up here. So that should change the color of that. So if I run it, you see the color of that changing. But let's just copy and change the number around. Okay, this is two, three, four, five. Let's run it so that you guys see what's going to happen. When I click on that, you can see the color changing on the text. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to speed that up. Let's copy and paste and speed it up to save time. All right, that's that done for all of the labels. Now let's try it out and see what's going to happen with the labels. Now I click on that that's what you get but it's going to be the same color all around I don't want that and to change it around you can just 
swap this and just change it around you can do your own thing if you want but that's how I intend to do mine so I'm going to speed this up as well and get back to you guys okay I've rearranged how the colors are on this parameter on the parameters okay so the next thing I want to do is let's just try it out first click on the button there we go you see the different colors now so let's come into the design itself which you see these panels we want to change the panels as well we want the panels to light up so we'll come right down here panel one I just copy this but it's going to be back color not front color and let's change this to back go so I'm gonna copy some more yeah let's copy something else here let's arrange it anyhow we want So have a look at the codes inside the time myself guys and this is just my global variables there that I'm using so I'm going to scroll right down so that you see it these are all the lines of code it's pretty straightforward okay and here I have my trigger function there that will trigger the button so if I run it, there, there we go. Look at that, guys. That's beautiful. And that is how you use the random function inside Visual Basic. So with that, I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoy it. But just before I go, let me show you guys the lines of codes again. Have a good look at it. My variables inside a timer the lines of codes for the colors from here down here those are the random functions that change the color settings and in here those are the random functions that generate the numbers and this is what I use to stop the timer Once the timer is 20, 20 seconds, no, I think 100 is approximately a second then, that is uh, maybe, I don't know what that is called, but 20 of those, divide that in 5 places and I'm using 20 of it, so if I run it again, there we go guys, and with that I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial, I suppose you enjoyed. You all have a nice day now and bye for now.